Hello and welcome back to The Broken Doll. And tonight I come to you with a haul that I have, I finally made it out to my thrift stores. And i got quite a combination of things that are going on here. So back about a month ago, I'm going to say a month, I don't know for sure, but I think it was a month ago, I went to my thrift store, let's say six weeks ago, and I saw some... 19 or early 1960s mid 60s maybe even some late 60s dolls in a cabinet at my thrift store they wanted i think it was about 24.99 now i had a little talk to the lady and i said oh this one no no she's not worth the money because this is wrong with her and i said oh this one's not too good because this is what's wrong with her and i said now you can't be asking that price for her because she doesn't have this 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 is what's wrong with her so anyways, about six weeks later, we'll say, I go waltzing back to my thrift store again, same one I went to. It was Value Village, and off I went, and there they were, sitting there now for $6.99. So I picked two of them up. I mean, there's more there, but even at $6.99, I th didn't think it was a very fair price. One asked me what I think they were, $2.99. That's my price. I would have gladly given them $2.99 and been a lot happier, I mean. But I gave them $6.99, and I'm happy, but not as happy as I could have been if they were $2.99. Anyhow, that may that's just how it goes. But who did I what did I buy? So let's snip now that I've told you how much I paid for them. You can see the price tags are on them there. There we go. $6.99 for one. Let's look at this one here and $6.99 for the other. So who did I buy? And what did I buy? Well, this is Pepper. Pepper had this outfit on. It's a handmade little outfit doesn't belong to her. It's too big, too frumpy on her. But what is her problem? She has a faded face. Now, I like a doll with a faded face because I learned how to put that color back in. And the only reason why I want her, I have pepper already. I really don't need another pepper, but I thought, you know what? I want this pepper because why? On my videos, I want to make a video showing you how I color her face and how we're going to clean her up first. We're going to clean, give her just a nice wipe down. Then we're going to take her and we're going to color that face up. You can tell it's different from the color of her body. You can see some dirt on her there just as well. So I thought she'd be a good example for $6.99, which I would better, like a $2.99 would have been better. But anyways, I got her. Now, who is this here? Well, everybody might say, that's a Tammy doll. Well, let's take a look at Tammy. I got a Tammy doll here. Here she is right here. This is Tammy by the Ideal Toy Company. Not in the 1960s, she was made. There she is. And here comes along this gal. Whoa, 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 whoa. Don't fall over, Tammy. Now, they're the same size, but there are some slight differences here. There is. Very slight, slight. They both have those eyes off to the side. But this one here is called a Judy or Debbie doll. Made by the Unique Company in Canada here. I... I been doing some looking up on her. Now it seems like she's a little bit bigger. She seems like she has a, a bit more height than what she does. She seems to be a little bit broader built than with the Tammy doll. So this is a Debbie or a Judy doll I think I said. So anyhow she came with this dress on which I think is probably hers. I'm going to say it is. I have no proof but I'm going to go with it. It's on her. It fits her. It looks you know so. But um, she's not a Tammy doll. I think what, what happened was the mold was shared or they gave a lightness to the mold and they were able to use it. Even the, if you ever get a Calico, what's her name, from the Beverly Hillbillies, there, um, I haven't talked about it for a while. What's her name? There was Jedthro, Grandma, the father. It's the, the young Tom, Tom girl. I can't think of her name right now, but her. It's getting late. It's late at night right now while I'm making this video. So anyhow... I almost said her name. I almost had the tip of my tongue. It's going to come flying out at me. And you know what's going to come flying at me? After the video's done. But anyways, she even was made with the side glancing eyes and looked a little bit like the Tammy doll when they made her doll up about her on the Beverly Hillbillies. So there's some likenesses among these dolls. So it seems like molds were shared and maybe not so much molds, but likenesses were shared to make molds and they maybe made the mold a little bit bigger maybe a little bit more slender made it a little bit wider just to change it slightly but she's marked on the back of her neck unique and it's very faint on her neck but I with a bunch of magnifying glasses and light proper light it says unique on there and anyways um that's who she is but I paid $6.99 and I'm glad I got her now because 
it just shows the differences in how molds were made, countries, how they did things, and um, how they presented the doll, and the name changes to the doll, and everything else that goes with it. So anyways, there you go on those two. That's what I'm doing with that. Now, what else did I get? One thing I like about what Valley, Value Village is doing is that they're putting the clothes now in the bags, but they're also saying if they're Ken clothes or if they're Barbie clothes. These were all Ken clothes. So I have this one here that says Sports Ken. I have two of these type of jackets, I think, or shirts or whatever. They're missing. Maybe they're supposed to be open uh, shirts. I'm not sure. Maybe they're they're not Ken's. Maybe they belong to another doll that's like Ken. But anyways, I, anyways, I have two of those. I have one here that says Jamaica 1959. What happened to Jamaica in 1959? Maybe that's when the trip happened. Just some pants. Some more pants. An army shirt. Another shirt. A, a tam. A little a hat there. And this one is marked My Scene. So this goes to a My Scene doll. I think I got a couple of those around too. So, which is great. Because now I have a shirt, at least. An original shirt. So that's great. Those, That's what I got there. Alright, let's pull those off to the side. I hope you got to see all those. What else did I get here? Well, in the next bag, it was marked Barbie. Oh, and a pair of Ken pants. There they are. All right. So I have a Barbie dress here. And I got a blow, uh, like a blazer or something, and a little uh, jogging sw sweater, and another vest, little green dress, and another little outfit here. I don't know who that does it belong to. Oh, it's Mark Barbie inside. So, yep, it's a Barbie. Another Barbie dress. Uh, another little shirt here and some pants. I think I have these pants already and another jacket right here unmarked and another dress right there. So there we go. Now, how do I wash these things? Well, you can do it in the jar. There is a jar method where you can fill it up with a drop of soap and some water and just shake the jar to pieces until you, you know, you clean them all. And it does work, but I don't want to do that. I buy these bags here, and this is what I do. And the clothes are in fairly good condition. They're not old or vintage or anything. I just put these bags, this, them all in a bag. Shove it in my washing machine and wash them. That's what I use. Just a zip-up bag. And you zip it up. And it does. they always do fine. I've never had a problem yet. So that's the way I do it. Now, also in that bag came some purses. I have a silver and a gold and a luggage bag right here. So there we go. So that came in there. Always love my accessories. Okay. Now, when I was also at the store there, I came across... Let me get this stuff out of the way. Now we're going to just lift up a little bit and move over this way. Oh, I got this new mat. This is my new mat right here for the month of November. November's mat. This is November's mat. I need two more and I'm done, I think, when it comes to my mats. Well, I say that, but I'm thinking one, two, maybe three, four. Four more yet. So I'm not done yet. So I just keep buying one a month on payday. Anyways... I got this bag here for $3.99. Now, let's take a look and see what's all in there. And you'll see why I got some. I love, I love this string. There's a reason why. I'm going to tell you about that later. But I got some um, Velcro. There's some Velcro. And I got some wide elastic. Okay, so that's good for the baby clothes. In, 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 the actual infant clothes. So that I am happy about. I'll take this elastic. Put that back in because it fell out. So it won't undo. So there we go. I got a whole row of that. And I got that all, like I said, $3.99. For that okay what else did I get here from that store oh yes I got this nice little book well it looks like a zip up book but when you unzip it ta-da and it has all your crochet needles in there that you're going to need if you want to crochet and I can crochet the easy stuff I want to get into more more of the deeper into it as time this winter hopefully I can get into it so anyways I thought I'd show that to you as well and I love the fact that it comes in this nice little complete case. There you go. And you know where th things are. I got another one that I, I got. Where did I put it here? Maybe I can find it quick here for my video. I know I have it here. Oh, when you want it. Oh, there it is. So you can't find it. This one I got a while ago. I paid 10 bucks for it right here. And you open it up. And it's got all your knitting needles in there. 
all the knitting needles that you need if you're going to, I guess, like most of them. I, you don't have your, your circle ones and all that other stuff. But hey, I've got all the sizes going up. So I think that's pretty good. Gives me a good start anyways. And I love the carrying cases came in. Someone paid for this. It was a serious knitter at one time. And now I got this for the crochet. I think that's a great, great start anyways in the right direction. All right, let's move on here. What am I into? Now, I was listening to Marna off of Dolls Rescued. Marna, if you're listening to this, I'm going to tell you something. You said on there that little snaps are getting harder and harder to find. Well, I know you can, I got some coming in from um, AliExpress. They seem to carry them and have them wonderfully. But, you know, I thought, have I really looked in my own area? So I went out to my favorite store, Lens Mills. And I got out there and I thought, before I start buying too much from AliExpress, even though I got some coming in, like I said, some snaps and some other things coming in, I thought, have I really looked around in my own area right now? So I got out to Lens Mill. And lo and behold, I found these packages of snaps and they carry them all the time they said and it starts off with it starts at the bottom with five six and seven millimeters these two sizes are great especially this one for barbie doll stuff these are great for baby stuff if you're doing or any type of stuff that needs a snap on it i got them in black and i got them in silver so i can get them here and i paid two dollars and 49 cents for them so there we go, and it tells you right in the bottom the sizes of them. So I was like, wow, um, I want to go back and get more. Um, yeah, next month I'll be going out, I'll be doing my run again, and I'm going to go see about buying more of those. If they have them, I'm going to go buy them. She says they order all the time, so it's nice to know where I can get them. I do have a store here where I can buy these. So I'm putting them in the bag in case they come off the cardboard, and I at least have them contained in a bag. So anyways, what's my next thing? Okay. I told you I want to make shoes for this doll here. All right. So I was watching a lady called Mor Morello. I'm not, maybe I got her name wrong. If I, if I butchered the name, I'm sorry. But anyways, she's been giving instructions on, uh, for me. Well, not just for me, for anybody out there who's interested on how to make shoes for your doll. So one of the things that she, she uses is tees, tees for golfing. So I went out and she says wooden tees. And so anyways, you, you're to go out and buy yourself some wooden tees. So I did. This is what the wooden tee looks like. Okay, well, you're going to use that as a heel on your shoe. So anyways, she says what you've got to do is angle it so that it, you get that heel. So I did. I took my Dremel and I angled it. Now all I have to do is cut this off and I've got myself... Now, maybe I did it the wrong way. Maybe it should have been that way, you know, type of thing. I'm not sure which way it would go. But anyways, I think it would go this way. But anyways, there it is. And you just cut this off and you've got a nice little heel for your shoe. And you can start, I'm going to start making shoes. Now, that's one way of making the heels by using golf tees, wooden ones. All right, so I bought those. I got those bought up. Well, what's the next thing that I've been looking at? Well, I need other things as well. So I want it to for decorating. So I went out and I got myself some glass beads. I only paid $1.49 at Lens Mills for this. And I got all of these nice little glass beads here. And I bought myself some containers to put them in. Boy, this stuff starts to add up and starts to cost. You know, $1.49 doesn't seem a lot, but when you start buying a whole bunch of it, it starts to add up. $1.09 for some little pearls if I want to make pearl type shoes. So I don't want to get too heavy in um, buying a whole lot of things, but that's what I want the string for because it makes nice little lace around the foot of the shoe. See what I'm doing here? And around the ankle. If I'm putting, make, she has a blue dress or something. Doesn't that look sharp? You know what I'm saying? So there's things that you can do with this. Now I bought more stuff. It's in my house. I'm going to do another video and show you some more things that I bought later. Um, another thing I bought when I was at Lens Mill, I found this, this whole thing of elastic for, I think I paid $18 for it. Um, it's a whole mess of it because I got a lot of dresses, little doll dresses that need elastic in it. So I got myself a whole big round ball of it, of this tiny stuff. So good, nice to have. All right, what else did I buy? Oh yes, I've been watching this show called 
mudlarking. I never heard of it before, but it's where these people go down to the river. One, this, this one called Caboodles or whatever, Kate and Caboodle, Kit and Caboodle. They go down to the back of their house and they find all kinds of stuff in the back of the yard from bottles to dishes to dolls, pieces to little frozen charlottes. I have been impressed, but that's not the whole thing about them. They take the stuff and they apply it to their... Um, let me see where my time is. Okay, they apply it to, like, they make crafts with it, and they make dollhouse furniture with the stuff. Well, I've been impressed by that because I am interested in that. So I want to know what thread they used. So I bought this stuff here. It's hemp. I think this is what they use. I'm not sure. I'd like to get a hold of them and see what they used for to, to make their, um, what do you call it, their uh, mattress with. They made a little doll bed and then they made a little mattress and that mattress they took and they, they sewed it with this brown thread. I can't find it what they were using. This is what I could come up with. I thought it was hemp. But anyways, I, I'm, I got this anyhow just in case that is what they've been using is hemp. I paid $3.59 for this little ball of it. I don't know. I have a nice old dollhouse. I would like to uh, do what they do. Now, I can't go to a river and find stuff, but I do have a backyard, so I'm going to call it backyard larking. That's about as much as I can do. I already did drawer larking. I went in all my drawers and found some stuff that I can make crafts with. I don't have what they have where they can go do all what they do, but I can do my own larking in my own way. So, you got to get inventive, but they have instilled something into me. And so, you know, that's what you do. They find old oh, buttons and everything. If you get a time to watch them, it's called Kitten Caboodle or something. And it's called Mudlarking. Oh, they're, they're two, two mother and daughter team, and they're doing so good. Uh, they've impressed me. So I bought a bag of buttons, too. I got a big bag of buttons and a lot of baby buttons in there. So I want to get those baby buttons out, out of there and put them in a jar and have them separated. I, I don't mind the big ones because sometimes you like to make something that's um, maybe a little gaudy, a little silly or whatever, and you need those big colored buttons to stand out on the outfit. So glad I have those colored uh, buttons as well. Well, that's what I brought in for tonight. I'm going to be talking more about uh, the shoes as I move. Oh, no, i got one more thing I want to show you. Can I do this really quickly? Oh, we're getting close. Mine only goes for 18 minutes. Um,